Hey, it's Thomas Carl Gladden with another batch of my collection of Lego anime figures that I've made. So these are figures I've made from Attack on Titan, Land of the Lustrous, and My Hero Academia. So the Attack on Titan figures are some of my favorite things that I've ever made. Mostly because of putting on the wires and stuff just makes them so much more detailed looking. So Aaron Yeager, so how I got the ODM gear on will be a bit hard to show without breaking the wires off because of how everything is put together, but it's using those pieces that go over minifigure necks to put stuff on their backs. So I cut them down just a bit so that they could fit together over the legs and that's how I put the ODM gear on and then I took some sewing thread and taped that from the swords to the ODM gear and the flesh pairing blades are made from katana pieces that were straightened out a bit Also for sub-watchers, ODM gear is what they call it in the dub. Not sure why they changed the name, but apparently it was the creator himself that asked for the name change. I don't know why. And Mikasa. Made the same way as Erin. Might be making some new Season 4 Attack on Titan minifigures. Haven't decided yet. So yeah, these are some of my favorite minifigures that I've ever made. Even though they're not even that detailed, just having the extra accessories on them looks so much nicer than other stuff. Plus, Attack on Titan designs in general just look amazing. However, someone came up with the design for ODM gear that was. I actually, when you think about it, pretty much everything in Attack on Titan is genius. And Phosphophyllite from Land of the Lustrous, or Haseki no Kuni. I didn't even like the series that much, but Foss made for an interesting opportunity to make sparkly hair, so I jumped at that. So I made her hair sparkly by putting tape over it, coloring over the tape without any whiteout paint that I usually use as a base on things, and then putting tape over that again. So made the hair pretty glossy looking. It's hard to see on camera, but skin is not pure white. It's more of a pearly white, which took a really long time to get the exact coloring on. It 
Zuku Midoriya from Hero Academia. So this part is made from using a ninja ninja cowl piece or something. Not sure what you'd call it exactly. And I cut half of it off so that the hair would fit over it and just turned it backwards. Feel like I got his cinnamon roll face pretty well. His messy hair is partially pieces of tape and paper stuck on there, and also partially just coloring effect from putting random stripes of random lines of black in there after painting after coloring it all green. Almost said painting, it's not using actual paint, just using markers. Also, people are always wondering about what I use for coloring, so I'll probably be doing another coloring explanation video sometime soon. And lastly, Todoroki. Most of the work for Todoroki was on the face and hair. So if there's any specific characters you want me to make from any anime, game, or specific LEGO Pokemon, then see commission info linked in the description on Twitter. So see you next time!